Hello everyone, welcome to NK Gyan. Today we are going to solve one number theory challenge problem based on integer solution. We have to find the value of x and y that both should, value should be integer. So how we can start this problem? Let us start by considering sum of cube. But before that, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe right now. What is a cube plus b cube? Let me write. So that value will be a plus b in one bracket, a square plus b square minus ab. And let us take at the same time, we can take x plus y towards left equal to 0. Make that equal to 0. So this is okay. a cube plus b cube, a plus b, a square plus b square minus ab. Now you can see x plus y, x plus y whole square. So I will take x plus y common. So what is left? x square plus y square minus xy minus x minus y is equal to 0. So what I am going to do, either this x plus y would be 0 or this one would be 0. Let me simplify a bit x plus y and this bracket would be written as x square minus x y plus 1. You can see there are two terms which is having x. So I will take x common out. y plus 1 is there. Then what is left? y square minus y equal to 0. Now come to conclusion part. Either x plus y would be 0, this is one thing, or x square minus x y plus 1 plus y square minus y equal to 0. Either this could be equal to 0. So one equation is x plus y is equal to 0. This is one solution. And second solution, x square minus x, y plus 1 plus y square minus y, that is equal to 0. Now see two things we are going to actually, first equation is equal to 0. So that means x is equal to minus y. This is certain. That means x is 1, y is minus 1, x is 2, y like that. It should be equal to each other with negative sign. So we will check that also. But let us start by considering second equation first. So equation is x square minus x y plus 1. This is in quadratic in x. This equation is quadratic equation in x. So let us solve this equation. Here a is equal to 1. b is equal to negative y plus 1. c is equal to y square minus y. Let's find out discriminant. Why? Because See, x and y should be real valued solution. x and y should be real valued. So solution should be accordingly. That means discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0. And what is discriminant? b square minus 4ac. It should be greater than or equal to 0. So let us find out b square minus 4ac. So if I will write directly, then y square minus y plus 1 whole square. So that is y plus 1 whole square y square plus 2y plus 1 minus 4ac. a is 1. So minus 4 into y square minus y. So minus 4y square plus 4y. That should be greater than 0. Next step minus 3y square. y square minus 4y square. So minus 3y square. 2y and 4y. 6y plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. Multiply with minus sign. So it will be 3y square minus 6y minus 1 less than or equal to 0. This equation is quadratic equation in y. You can see for finding out solution of y, we have to simplify 3y square minus 6y minus 1 less than or equal to 0. And remember, this equation will give us number of solutions. Okay, let us start with the same equation. In this 3y square minus 6y minus 1. Let me write minus 3y square minus 6y 
minus 1 that should be less than or equal to 0. 3y square it was. 3y square it was. Yeah. 3y square minus 6y minus 1 it is less than or equal to 0. Okay. Again we will do the same thing. Quadratic formula will come into the picture. A is 3, B is minus 6, C is minus 1. Okay. So let us find out value directly. Y is equal to minus B. So 6 plus minus under the root b square so 36 minus 4ac so 12 over 2a so 6 so that value will be equal to 6 plus minus square root 48 over 6 48 is 16 times 3 so i will write 4 root 3 then divide let me write 4 root 3 by 6 divide by 2 so 3 plus minus 2 root 3 over 3. So there are two values, two roots. One is with minus sign. So 3 minus 2 root 3 over 3. And another is with plus sign. So 3 plus 2 root 3 over 3. Okay. Now one equation is very very important equation. That is inequality equation. That is 3y square minus 6y minus 1. If you will find out using number line so system then you can find out this y value will lie in between these two points. Means 3 minus 2 root 3 over 3 this value and it will be less than the uppermost value the bigger one. Check 3 minus 2 root 3 over 3, 3 plus 2 root 3 over 3. Now we know that what is the value of root 3, 1.732. If you multiply with 2, then that will be 3.46. So 3 minus 3 point, I am talking here, 3 minus 3.46 over 3. So that value will come out 0 0.15 with negative sign. Because 2 root 3 is negative, because of it is negative number, 3 minus 3.46. So answer will come out negative less than or equal to y less than or equal to this value is do the same thing 3 plus 3.46 over 3 6.46 over 3 so that value is 2.15 now x and y we know both are integers so in between minus 0 0.15 and 2.15 how many y values you will get those are integers so y equal to 0 first y equal to 1 and 2 there are three y values. Okay. Now let us recall that quadratic equation again because we, we have to find out the value of x now. Quadratic was x square minus x y plus 1 plus y square minus y. You can check there equal to 0. So what we will do? We will put y equal to 0 case, y equal to 1 case and y equal to 2 case separately. And then we will find out respective x values. Okay, let us find out y equal to 0. So, quadratic equation will be x square minus x. You can see y equal to 0. x square minus x plus 0 equal to 0. That means equal to 0. So, x value will be equal to take x common x minus 1 equal to 0. So x will be equal to 0 or 1. Okay. Now 0, y is 0, x is 0. So how many ordered pairs are there? 0, 0, x comma y you have to write and 1 comma 0. Done. This we can put in box. This is one set of solution. Now y equal to 1. If I am putting y equal to 1, equation would be x square minus 2x and 1 square minus 1, 0, equal to 0. Take x common, so x minus 2 equal to 0. So again two solutions, x equal to 0, x equal to 2. Write their ordered pairs, x comma y, so 0 comma 1, this is your 0 and 1. And then we have 0 and 2, 2 comma 1. Now let us put y equal to 3. Again put this in box. 
okay 0 1 and 2 1 solution from y equal to 1 value 0 0 1 0 solution is from y equal to 0 value okay come to y equal to 3 y equal to 2 not 3 see this is 2 so let me put 2 so equation would be x square minus 3x plus 2 square 4 minus 2 so 2 equal to 0 if you will factorize you will get x minus 1 x minus 2 equal to 0 that means x is equal to either 2 or 1 two solutions now write there uh, ordered pair so 1 comma 2 and second one is 2 comma 2 so there are six solutions from second equation six ordered pair solutions for integer value 0 0 1 0 0 1 2 1 1 2 2 2 now first equation is still pending that equation is x plus y equal to 0 you can write there so far solution you can write let me write that solution 0 0 0 1 ordered pair it is 1 0 1 2 2 1 and last is 2 2 six solutions so far now we are finding out the second equation that is x plus y equal to 0 okay so x is equal to minus y 0 is equal to minus 0 you can exempt that case because 0 is neither a positive integer nor negative integer so we won't consider that case let me put x equal to 1 so y will come out minus 1 <clears throat> or y is equal to 1 then x will come out minus 1 so another set of solution is 1 comma minus 1 if i am putting 2 then y will be minus 2 i will write 2 comma minus 2 and so on 3 3 comma minus 3 ultimately you will be getting in general if we sum up this set of solution then we can write n comma minus n and similarly you will write x is equal to minus 1 so y will be 1 so in this case you will be getting opposite means sign would be opposite so second set would be minus n comma n so this category of solution is always there from minus infinity to infinity so there can be infinite number of ordered sets so what i am going to write i will write solution as let me write solution ordered pair x comma y answer will be 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 2 2 1 2 2 then i will write n minus n and minus n n in this case you will put n 1 2 3 4 5 6 then your y y value will come out minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 and if you are putting n negative means minus n minus 2 so you will be getting y coordinate or y value positive so this is one means complete set of solution now if you want to check few values you can check let us consider let us check okay x is equal to 0 so first set is 0 0 i am verifying so x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so 0 cube is 0 0 cube is 0, 0 plus 0 whole is square. So true. The next solution set is 0, 1. Let us put x is equal to 0. So 0 cube is 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 square is 1, true. Similarly, so on, you can verify. Let me put 1, comma 2. x is equal to 1. So 1 cube plus 2 cube is equal to 1 plus 2 whole cube 1 plus 8 is equal to this is square so 3 square is 9 9 is equal to 9 that means it is true similarly for 2 comma 1 
you can verify that is also true 2 comma 2 you can check let me put 2 2 cube plus 2 cube that is equal to 2 plus 2 whole square so it is 8 plus 8 is equal to 4 square so 16 16 is equal to 16 and it is also true now any set of number like this you will be getting always let me put x is equal to n so n cube plus you will write there minus n whole cube plus n plus minus n whole square you can verify this will be that value will be minus n cube equal to n minus n whole square you can see that value will be 0 0 always when you are having n and minus n so solution is true similarly for minus n and n so there are infinite set of ordered pairs but mainly you can find out those solutions 0 0 0 1 1 2 2 1 2 thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel